Hello and welcome to the first episode of my new series, Assassin's Creed Explained. This is the series where I take a look at plot points from the Assassin's Creed franchise that may not have been explained within the main story. I'll use lore, logic, and the extended media to try to come up with answers to many questions Assassin's Creed fans have been asking for years. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the Animus White Room Confessions to see just why the protagonist can speak to their target after delivering the killing blow. So in the Assassin's Creed franchise, every time you assassinate a major target, your protagonist has a nice sit down and chat with them to learn of their motive, and the player gets a small insight into their life. But why can this happen? You're just in the middle of battle, you strike down your target, and then the guards just sit around and wait for you to finish your chat? That's not the case at all obviously. But it's also not Animus trickery either, at least not entirely. The Animus plays a small part in these scenes, but they're the events that actually occurred. The way the player completes each assassination is up to them, as there is some wiggle room with the memories in the Animus. It doesn't just project memories, but it can also create an entire virtual space for the player to move around in. You can do whatever you'd like as long as you don't fall out of sync with your ancestor by sparing a target, dying, killing innocents, etc. When the Animus user kills a target, they achieve a full synchronization, allowing for them to see the events that followed the way they truly happened. You don't have to kill the target the exact way your ancestor did to achieve the full sync, merely kill them and it will allow the Animus to play back the memory in which the ancestor spoke to the target after the killer be made. You may be asking yourself, but if they killed the target, how exactly are they speaking to them? Well, the answer is pretty simple. You killed them in the simulation to access the memory playback, but in reality, the assassin injures the target to speak with them before allowing them to pass away. Well, if this is something that actually happened, then why is the room white? Why are we within the Animus Corridor? This is simply because you've achieved a high level of sync that the Animus focuses in on that one specific memory of the kill, to play it back as perfectly as possible. Once the memory is done with, it'll throw you back into the simulation to continue reliving more memories. There is no perfectly definitive answer within the current Assassin's Creed lore, but every piece of evidence I can find points towards the explanation detailed in this video. If you have any other ideas, I'd love to hear about them in the comment section below. Like the video if you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the new Assassin's Creed videos. And with that said, I'll see you all next time. Bye!